Hello, and welcome to this month's edition of the InDesign Newsletter, where you learn tips and tricks and general things about InDesign. Who am I? I am Andrea Batslatin. I'm an Adobe community expert. I'm also a graphic and web design instructor for college. So now that you know who I am, let's get started. All right, so this month, I wanna show you how easy it is to use a template inside of InDesign. Now, this is something that it has been here for a while, but it's often overlooked or people simply don't think about it. Well, if you are a person who doesn't feel like your design is as strong or you have to get a lot of work out, this is gonna help your productivity take it to the next level. Let's go. So there are a lot of designs that are already curated for you. So what you can do is two ways you can get here. You can go to the new file. You can just click on new file. We're, either way, we're going to get to the same place. Um, so you can click on new file from the welcome menu, or you can go up here to file, click on new, document. All right. So typically we would go in usually and we start setting our presets and then we hit, you know, we custom or whatever, and we just go. But down here at the bottom where it says find more templates, you can actually just click and we could type something like baking, okay? And we'll hit go or hit return or enter on your keyboard. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna go to um, Adobe Stock and it's gonna give you different options to, um, to use on Adobe Stock. But the other way is I'm gonna go ahead and just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see there are already some curated templates here for you. Kind of cool, right? So let's go ahead and click on thank you card. And just like that, we have a template. Now you will notice that the image that you saw before, the beautiful image, that's not here, but you get to create your own image. You get to create your own card. So the way that we're gonna do that I love the layers panel, you all know. So we have our placeholder right now. This consists of three layers, placeholder, text, guide, and labels. The guide and labels are always gonna be locked down. Um, your text, if you open it, you'll be able to see what comprises this text, these two things. And then you can go over here to uh, placeholders and you'll see your image right here. So what you can do is fully customize this. So we're going to go ahead and bring in an image. So I'm going to select this, your image here, just so that it's selected. We're going to go up to file and we'll go to place and we'll bring in an image. I have a lot of Firefly images. So I never know what I'm going to get. So let's just see what happens. All right. So I got this bowling one. And because I have this selected, I can just click and it'll drop that image right inside of that frame. How cool is that? All right, so I told you it was fully customizable. So we just add an image to this. The next thing that we can do is we can go over here to text. We can select rectangle. We can change things about the rectangle. We can go up here to group and we can change the thank you. So let's say we don't want it to say thank you. Maybe we want to change the thank to hey you. Like we're thinking about somebody. So we're just trying to, um, you know, tell them we're thinking about them. So I can type H-E-Y, hey, and then you. And then look at that, fully customizable. The other thing, we can go ahead and change the rectangle if we wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my direct selection tool and I'm gonna grab, click on this rectangle. And then so I can change the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make it a blue, maybe a light, a sky blue. Look at that, and it changed the color. I can also make it larger. I can change, so you saw that we could change the text. We could change um, the colors. We can change the the image. If we wanted to put an image here, we could. Let's say we wanted to bring, I don't know, a small image of something. So we'll just go to file. We'll go to place. You want to make sure that you are on the right. Um, let me see. I want to get something. Let's get something weird. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw that out real quick. And now we have a young lady, right? Dancing and she's in rainbow gear. So the next thing though, 
we know that this is upside down because this is the bottom side of the card. So I'm going to flip it. There we go. And I might want to touch the edge. But either way, we have this fully customizable card. I can hit W. And so we can see what the card is going to look like. And then you can make, you know, changes from there. But that is it. It is that easy to customize a template that was already created. We didn't have to do much designing. We just did modifications to wherever we wanted to. But that's how easy it is to create a template inside of InDesign. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed what we went over today. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please let us know in a comment. Also, please like the video if you really liked it. And also subscribe. All of these things help tell YouTube that you are interested and they'll push the content to more people. Yay! All right. So um, thank you for watching. And there's my contact information if you want to contact me on YouTube, Behance, or Instagram. Um, otherwise, until next time, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, ta-ta.